Hello everyone and welcome back to Terraria. So in last episode we just started off this new world and um... Akitori, what do we do now? I don't know, I'm still new to this. Actually, I want to ask something. Oh, yeah sure. What are those buffs underneath my hotbar? I see happy right. and cozy fire, so I kind of get what they do, but where does happy come from? The sunflowers. Oh. Yeah, yeah I guess that kind of makes sense. It looked like a sun, but uh... Okay. That's why. I, that's why I said I spawn here, cause I did. Cause uh, happy reduces monster spawn. Okay, that's cool. This. And then the fire increases your life for Jen slightly if you're in proximity to it, right? Yes. Now I want to actually give you a present, Bio. Let me go make it. Okay. Well, while you do that, I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> I have a few. Akatori was removed from Bio or from Let's Play by zombies. Can you interact with the gravestones at all, or? Yeah, you can right-click him to click edit. Also, here you go. Here's your present. A bow? Yes. And also this. Well, I already had a bow, but uh, I have arrows. <laughs> you want the so, other yeah, you bow? Can actually, uh, you can right-click the side, you can click edit, and you can make it say, like... Um, here, you can have... Oh, I did not mean to... Sh you throw items for pressing T. I right-clicked. Anyway. <laughs> So, you may have noticed actually before we continue on, uh, you got acorns from trees, you plant them back and you rebuild a tree. That's all they do. Ah, so acorns are saplings, got it. Well, they are saplings, they're acorns. Anyway, so yeah, I think we need a little more wood to finish that crude house we have there. And sure. then, well actually, I need to look into, or I need to know how you do the furnace stuff. Okay, so I will tell you how. We need First, we need to find more stone, though. I don't know if you have 20 stone. Uh, isn't there a stone right down here? Where? Like, oh, right stone. here. Or is that iron? Oh, right. That, yeah, that is stone. Also, and by the way, there is some way we can track each other if we're on the same team. Now, I don't know if you know this, but whenever you click escape, there's six color buttons. Oh, yeah, by the armor, right? Yeah, you can choose a color, and if you, anyone's on your team, you can see where they are anywhere in the world. Okay, I guess we're going with the white one. Why does no team? Then why'd you say there were six? <laughs> Blue it is. See, so I can see you where you are, and if I walk away off screen for you, it tells me where you are, and I am relatively. Okay. Well, now I know when you're dying in the distance. <laughs> yes, so exactly that. Okay, so, yeah. so you made the furnace, and that was just uh, torches and stone, you said? Oh no, I'll need to make some torches later and check the recipe myself, but. It's three torches, 20 wood, and 20 stone. Or 10 wood, but it's it's a lot of wood, a lot of stone, a lot of torches. That's basically all you need. Okay, so is it worth having more than one furnace like in Minecraft, or not really matter? It depends. Mainly it doesn't at the beginning of the world, because we only have two crafting mechanisms. Um, which Akadori? Is, yes? Could you help me get out of this hole? Oh wait, oh. can I make wooden platforms? Nope. Yes, oh yes, I can. You don't... Yeah, you don't need a workbench for wooden platforms. I see that now. Also, to make torches, you're gonna need jail, which you get from slimes. Yeah, I just haven't got any so far that I noticed anyway. Uh, what, oh, there's some jail. Also, there's something I want to show you that I found right now that I don't think you saw. It's this strange plant right here. Over here. Hold on one second. I want to make some torches in my jail. So it needs you one gel, need one wood. Okay, so I just made nine torches. Uh, oh, let me reorganize my hotbar a little. There we go. So, I don't know. You say the normal sword's better than the short sword? It's because the short sword is more like a stabby weapon. So you stab, stab, stab. I think yeah, I'm gonna keep both of my hotbar because I think they're both nice. I think the short sword's a little better if something's like right in front of you, while the normal sword's better like for eyes and flying stuff. Anyway. Yeah, both for that. So, so now I want to look at how you make a furnace. Just look at the guide, he'll tell you. Oh! Arrows are just wood and stone. I told you that. I wasn't listening, I guess. Uh, so a campfire is five torches and ten of wood. And where's the furnace? 
In the bottom. Here it is. Furnace. So 20 stone, 4 wood, 3 torches. Well, I already have one, so I don't need to do that. But what about uh, iron bar? Iron or copper? Oh, to make iron or copper, you're going to need 3 iron ore and you need to stand next to the furnace. Here, I'll throw you my copper so you can use it. My iron so you can use it. Just stand next to the furnace. Okay, so I just yeah, click it. Yes. Okay. So I got some iron. And I got some copper. So now that I have those, what can I do with that? Well, you're gonna need to make you're gonna need at least ten iron to make an anvil so that we can make iron tools and stuff. Uh, what about a chest? That's probably a waste at the moment, but Yeah, you can make a chest. You just need uh you just need some a chest and uh, an iron ingot and some wood. Should we make a chest right now just for purpose? I feel like it would be a wise investment. Okay, let me make a chest then. And if I go to eight, and I'll... How about... Can I place it upstairs? Yes, I will recommend placing it upstairs. There we go. So now if I... Okay, so I can open it and deposit pretty much like a Minecraft chest. Right? Yeah, you can actually... If you actually go outside of your inventory and there's a chest nearby, you can actually click quick stack to nearby chests or sort inventory. All right, uh... Quark had that feature, I believe. In, uh, yeah, I think Quark had it. So is it quick stacks, you said, or? Quick stack to chest. It'll oh, deposit all. Does deposit all to your inventory? Well, I'm going to find out. Okay, it does your inventory. <laughs> well, I put in some <laughs> items that I'm currently not really using. Uh, I don't need wood on my hotbar, I guess. Okay, so we have two iron and five copper. I don't think that's enough to make anything, is it? Nope. Just chest, basically. Oh, coins over there, and ammo. I just noticed that over there. So, I take it we need to go down. We can go on the surface first to explore for surface chests, unless you want to go down. Well, it's currently day, so how about we do that? Are these squirrels friendly? They won't attack you, as long as it's not the blood moon. Also, to open this door right here, this is a weird place door. You face the opposite direction, then you right-click. Uh, could you fix that? <laughs> And tell it's me what the hell just... I did wrong. <laughs> no, it's not your fault. It's because there's a sunflower here, but I just need uh, to break that sunflower in. Okay. Yeah. Before we go, I'm going to put some more wood walls, though, because that looks messy. You died twice right next to each other over here. I don't think you... I think you underestimate how much I died, dude. That's why I don't play hardcore ever. Do you know how short the world would be? I would just spawn into the world, and then I'll be dead within the next nanosecond. So here's some copper. Should we get that? If you want to. Does um, copper make anything you... of no? Does it? Nope. I didn't hear an answer. No, let's go. I think no, you said, I said no. no. No, right? Yeah, I said no. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like every time I go to double check that new answer and then I can't hear you because I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, well, we can go this way. Um, be careful, though. Um, there are some very unfriendly biomes. We might actually come across... Did you just walk through that slime? It walked into me. Anyway. <laughs> so, unfriendly bombs, you say. Is there any way to tell what biome we're in, or is it just kind of... Yes, yes, you'll find out within, like, less than 15 nanoseconds. If you find also, out. what are those options on the map? I take it, uh, zoom... Okay, equal reset your location back to normal. Zoom out, zooms out your map, and the plus zooms in your map. There's a cricket over there. I'm gonna go murder that thing. I see. So we're looking for chests on the surface, or are they in little caves, or what? And what do we get from these? There's little chests, like, you see right here, actually, where I am right now? There's a mm -hmm. pot right there. That's what we're kind of looking for. We're looking for surface loot and stuff. Okay, so in little caves and such in the surface like that. Should should we get that pot? Yes, we should go get that pot. Ah. Hooray, Anything down there? Then it gets... Ah. No, it's a dead end. Of a murderous slime. Speaking of murderous slime, ah, okay, I got out. Just mirrors the sun setting. It's not you at the sun setting. 
That's, the days don't last long in Terraria, dude. Yeah. Oh, there's uh, lots of stuff over here, Arkatori. Dang. Okay, so how do you break these? Uh, this is wood. Oh, this might be a tree. No, it's not a wood tree. Uh, this is wood, so you just punch it with a pickaxe. Um, I'm running away now. Akatori! <laughs> I will attack. <laughs> We're stabbing him through a tiny crack in the wall. What is wrong with us? Punch okay, him. so what do you even get from that? How can you tell what you get from that? We'll have a mushroom and some gel. That's all I can see that I got. Hearts. Coins. Could you, uh, take care of that? <laughs> I meant the wood, but okay. <laughs> okay, but... Also, by the way, Bio, actually, now that I notice that you're struggling, you can press shift, and if you hover over- OH, MY SERVER CHEST! Okay, so we got silver coin. I think I- Did I loot it or delete it? I don't know. Okay, you do loot by shift. Uh, recall potions! Uh, shurikens, and six iron bars, and a blowpipe. Okay, so... Can we take the note, chest? It, yes. One thing to note, though, if you're looking in the chest, no one else can look at it when you, while you're currently looking at it. Okay, that is something good to know. So... Also, bio, um... Uh, those planet, recall potion. Sorry. Oh, those things teleport you back to spawn. Sh should we use that now? <laughs> Give me one and this. We How do we use that? And maybe we should explore a little more... First. And yeah, how do yeah, I drop it? I don't want to right click uh, until you, drop, you you hold put in your inventory and you could separate you could separate one by right clicking. No, not right clicking. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, by I did. By right clicking. Uh, slime. <laughs> Murder the slime. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, so I have them split. I right click to split the stacks. How do I throw it without consuming it? <laughs> okay, put one in your hot bar. And I'll press T to throw it at me while, it's over, while you selected it. There you go. Okay. okay, so how do you consume it? Just left click. In your hot bar? No, left click while selected. Okay. Like a... Kind of like a Minecraft potion, but not really. Yeah. But are you dying? Uh, might be. <laughs> Bio! They're slimes! Okay, so is there anything else over here worth exploring now, or...? By the way, like I was saying, press shift and it lets you access, like, use special functions. Like, if you're holding shift at nothing... Oh, so that's how I can, like, change the tool based on the environment sort of thing. I look, another chest! I'm gonna open this one. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let you look at this, because it's a video after all. A builder potion. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a builder potion, wood arrows, rope, grenades, and a blowpipe. I'm gonna take those grenades for safety, but you can loot the rest. <laughs> I can't damage you with grenades. That's not what I implied. <laughs> okay, why didn't you tell me about shift sooner? That's a really- Oh, there's another chest over here! I was trying to tell you, but every time I did, you interrupted me! <laughs> uh... A lucky aglet. What? A herb bag, iron bars, rope, more arrows, lesser healing potion, recall potions, and bottles. I I think we got some loot from that. What's that over um, there? Oh, it's a zombie, okay. and that's an eye. Well, bye. <laughs> we both did it before consulting <laughs> the other. We're smart! <laughs> <laughs> we should have a door upstairs. Yeah, I got a I love how I just look over and see an eye working its way and just like, yeah! <laughs> At the door, please. Uh, okay, let me, uh, do... Oh, God. Door, door, door. I don't have wood on me. It's in the chest. <laughs> Fire! Are your arrows hit? Okay, it looks like your arrows are breaking, like, halfway to it on my screen. <laughs> I think the server might have a little lag. You think? I'll make a bore. Just a little. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna try put some of the stuff we got in the chest here. So, what do we need iron for? Iron again for making tools or the anvil. Um, yeah, that's basically it at the moment. Uh, I actually got. I probably should keep a recall potion on my hotbar, right? Yep, at all times. Until we get a magic mirror, which is a different thing altogether. I think I know of that. Magic missile. Also, by the way, my recommended action for you if you ever get arrows. Well, uh, make, flaming ar make flaming arrows besides gesture arrows. Because flaming arrows do more damage. And also. Oh god, I almost died! Uh, they do more damage and they also have a chance to send the target on fire. And they also ignite light up the area a bit. Mm -hmm. Dang it. Die. So, what is this lucky aglet? Uh, the aglet, you know, you know, in your slot that you have some like weird little slots at the bottom that look like little chains. Okay, so they're ring slots. <laughs> yeah, so accessory slots. So the aglet's an accessory, and it's a uh, five percent movement speed, four percent critical chance. Yep. What's going on out here with all the color? Okay, fire arrows, right? <laughs> How did you forget a fire? Uh, bag. We got fire blossom seeds and day bloom. Right. So it, that is used for making alchemy, which we can actually make right here using this table. Just punch the face away. Um, you place a bottle down. You said you got a bottle, correct? Uh, yes, I have uh, bottles. Uh, put them in the chest. <laughs> you left the door open, didn't you? Okay. <laughs> Okay, what about the blowpipe? The blowpipe you can use to shoot seeds at people. Probably not useful now, though. It's uh, kind grenades! Of useful. I'm keeping those on me. Uh, rope. Actually, you can make sticky grenades. And. Okay, I think I saw this chest decently for. Actually, I probably should put down the other chest. Yes, put down the other chest. Uh, can I put a chest on a chest? No, it has to have a solid block underneath it. Chest on solid blocks. But you can put a chest on a platform like uh, this, and you can place it up there. Oh, well, look. we placed down all our chests. So how do I make fire arrows again? I want to have a seed. There we go. Wait, can you only collect what? seeds when you have a blowpipe? Yeah, that's the only thing. So I have. should keep a blowpipe on me just so we can get seeds. I don't know what purpose seeds have, but yeah, sure. Well, just so we can collect ammo, because it says allows the collection of seeds for ammo, so I take it if I didn't have a blowpipe, I wouldn't be able to get seeds for it, right? Yes, exactly. Also, um, I don't Okay, think I so I guess it. I'll keep a blowpipe just in my inventory randomly, just for that. Uh, anything else? Uh, well, I do have arrows. Okay, yeah. I could get more arrows, right? Yes, wood and stone. You said that right now. I even got annoyed at you because I told you that earlier and you ignored me because you were talking over me. So how do I make the fire arrows you talked about? You make a torch and you craft it with an arrow. Okay. So is that one-to-one -one uh, thing or? No, it's um, it's you get 10 for every torch. Oh, that's uh, pretty good then. I made 200 arrows. Okay, I have 60 fire arrows, 20 jester arrows, and a seed. Oh, by the way, uh, one thing to note, um, you can fast craft things by right by pressing and holding right click on the crafting grid thingy. Uh, what was that again? By holding what? You can press and hold right click to fast craft things, like arrows or something. Oh, I just did that. Okay. And we also can make a rope coil, a throwable throw to create a line of rope. Should I make that? That's not really useful at the moment, but you can make it for future. Ah, fire at these. Oh, I have a good okay. bit of rope, so might as well, I guess. Fire, 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 fire. Okay, so we have some iron. Oh, actually, I think this is a good spot to wrap up the uh, second episode. Because the recording's about 20 minutes, and that's how long I want to keep these episodes. Alright. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you everyone for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.